Now just go around to view the cup. Christ. We give you thanks for the life of our mother and sister who is resting in your bosom. Father, as she begins the journey to eternity, that you will accompany her. That you shall give us courage to take this loss because we are Christians and because we believe in the faith. Father, come not to be with us, grant us journey messages as we take her to her, just her lasting place. Father, be with her, be with all of us. Come and be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Bito, uh huh, mia, mia.
Christ be with you all. And also with you. Jesus says to his Father in heaven, Father, I desire that me also whom you have given me may be with me where I am, to behold my glory which you have given me in your love for me before the foundation of the world. Let us turn to page one of the program and join the responsive psalm. Listen to my prayer, O Lord, and hear my cry for help. Listen to me and answer me quickly when I call. I am beaten down like grass. I have lost my desire for food. I lie awake. I am like a lonely bird on a housetop. My life is like the evening shadow. I am like dry grass. The Lord will reveal His greatness. He looks down from heaven to earth. The Lord has made me weak while I am still young. He has shattered my life. Oh, the Lord, to live forever, long ago you created the earth, and with your own hands you made the heavens. You will discard them like clothes and they will vanish. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Let us sing the hymn on page 4.
By his resurrection, you have brought reconciliation and eternal life. That free from the fear of death, we can live in your kingdom. Grant that believing this firmly in our hearts, we may participate in the joyful resurrection of your faithful people. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Sit down. the biography of our mother and sister Na Mary here for them. The post for whom? Na Mary here for them. Bandula a post for whom? Was born on the 27th of October 1950 to Bar Matthias Bandula and Margaret Bandula of Bethesda Memory. She was a dedicated a God-fearing Christian who was baptized on the 21st of December 1950 and confirmed on the 24th of December 1964. She was also a dedicated CWF, that is Christian Women Fellowship member. Now Mary was married to Baron Rivendan of Koku. The couple were blessed with seven children, six of whom are still alive, as one passed away. They also have 15 grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren, with more than 100 cousins, sisters, nieces, nephews, to Moriah. Before her death, she worked in Bermuda as a seamstress, and later moved to Bali, where she continued as a popular farmer. She had complained of a bit of fever and was taken to Bamaka Center, and later to a renowned private clinic, where she was administered some medication and blood. After regaining some strength, she insisted on going back to Bali. A few days later, that is on Friday the 10th, the 19th of May, she started vomiting. Due to those times and other consequence challenges, she 
she could not be carried back to the hospital or the trailer. While waiting here for parents to take her back to the hospital in the early hours of the 21st, she passed into eternity. Mami Melissa has accomplishments where her family and her greatest relationship with God. She looked everything through the eyes of faith, yet in all siblings. She lived her life according to her word and found comfort in prayers, focusing special attention on seeking intercession and guidance along the way. She did not bother to solely this relationship by allowing the influence of society to complicate it. She did not need proof that what she practiced was the truth because she was content in pondering the beautiful mysteries that were her faith. If we bring new life into this lesson of faith, if we incorporate it into our own lives, then we carry on our legacy and give a reason to smile. Naomi was such a loving, caring mother and sister whose smile was infectious. She was also not, she also would not spare any opportunity to accord a helping hand to whoever, regardless of any connections in any form. She was brave full of strength, loving, and kind. Her passing away is a great loss to us all, but we take comfort in the fact that her legacy will continue to inspire us as she never waver in her commitment to ensure that everyone had a fair chance of respect, success, and happiness. Mama, rest in peace. God bless. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, if anyone is in Christ, she is a new creation. The old is gone. Truth, with us in mind. Well, I stand here on behalf of the Guanulas, the Ngayons, the Tebits, and the Tevo. We don't have much. The only thing is, we thank you people since this thing happened. Everybody has contributed one way or the other. Creation of God's people, the body. I stand for here on behalf of the congregation of Jenica and my humble self to welcome all we where we don't come for pay the last due respect for me, sister and mommy, we don't like to be. We really turn all we will not travel from the distant places to join me for this occasion. Um, I may be a very committed Christian for this congregation. And uh, she was a woman of good faith, good hearted. And uh, for some time, I may be going to seek the session, 
to make sure simply they pray, they do other things we be required of the church for me. Even when my baby is sick, if I have this hospital, the session and the CWF, the make no sin, may they pray with me. But because death is being a, the only way we will pass God, we just be hope because my baby be a faithful Christian, it demands to be in the bosom of God. And uh, we want to tell our team. Even we, we believe in one day we so we will meet for sinner and uh, we will praise him as he don't go ahead. May he continue for the sake for we because we believe in he don't join the saints and uh, in the next we don't know maybe it will be near you and it will be near me and uh, we get to we prepare we go way too so that when we are time we will also be with Mami. I want to tell you what we all will really be doing now. And at the talk, we will be it a pleasant day as we will be celebrating the life of Mami to the end of the day. And I will wish all of you a safe journey to your various destinations. Thank you.
us to know our dear Heavenly Father so that we can gain a heart of wisdom. In this period of mourning, we pray you Lord to be our source of comfort and strength and to be our inspiration as we reflect on your word about the meaning of our lives. Come and hear us as we pray to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I always like to meditate based on the, the theme way, the text way families select them, put them on the front cover of the program. Because most likely he would say that verse is speaking for the family. Not necessarily for the dead person, but he speaks for the person where he makes the choice for that verse. And therefore the verse will be written there for all when I when I get the program. Romans chapter 14, verse 8. Today, if you hear God's voice, have it not in your hearts. Baba Chintin, Baba Chintin, Baba Mambi. Baba Uku, Baba Uku, Baba Uku, Baba Mambi. Ale Baba Chintin, Baba Uku, Baba Uku, Baba Uku, Mambi. Me voy a ver chulito. Baba Uku, Baba Chintin, Baba Uku, Baba Uku, Mambi. Whether we die, we die for the Lord. Whether we live, we live for the Lord. We belong to God. If this one be fit for done for we, in the heart of every soul, then we will get little complication about living. They tell the story of a Jewish woman where he will give a typical example of this. This woman, he will be the wife of a Jewish rabbi, and they will stay for many years. He pray for God, forgive them the fruit of the womb. And at long last, God will bless them with one picking. And when this boy begin to be like 10 years, this rabbi go work there because if they do business for some far country. As you go for the business trip, they speak in die. The wife they bam, they begin. They go put them for inside some special room for their house. On the day when your husband will return, he made well, dress himself well, cook, fine job. He served the husband at the table. And when the husband be done talking, he, he tell the husband, say, he get something for telling. The husband say, go ahead. This woman, he tell the husband, say, what if somebody, he give you some things that you keep up for him. And then you happen for not being here. That person can't take that thing in your absence. Which will be your reaction? The rabbi said, well, as long as the person takes I want to maybe give and say, my keep up for you, which will be my problem, I will just feel satisfied. So he said, my husband, come, make can show you something. He leave the husband, into that room where the guy begin the day for day, he show you. He said, the Lord, if you give you this, and in your absence, you don't take up. Both of them will be joined for glorify God. Say, the Lord give it, the Lord take it. A God will give way, a God will take up. 
Even we own lives, we don't belong for ourselves. And send we for this earth with a purpose. That purpose, I say, make we glorify you and make we take care of all the other creation. The charge we got beneath man in the Garden of Eden and the charge of stewardship for take care of all the things we call no beggar. And once you be a steward, you must keep in mind say you go report for the owner because a steward is a caretaker. If they give you something for care day, be sure say you go report back for the owner and you get to give proper account of how you manage the things when they keep up under your care. And therefore, stewardship go alongside with accountability. When the talk say on the final day, we all will stand before the judgment seat of God. Forgive reports for we lie on that. It will be see on that day, we're going to give account. No, it's that no matter how long you live, life at its longest will still be very brief. At the end of the day, we all be now a story told in the past. A story where they use the past tense for longer. Because for the humanity, we will know the biography for Bambiri, all we will know as an EBP. EBP is a story in the past. Tomorrow it will be a story in the past for me. Tomorrow it will be a story in the past for you. So at the end of the day, we are nothing but stories told in the past. A B B. No B B. And for day we we go end. Once we deal with Christ, as long as we don't be with Christ, oh, we need a for hellfire. We be on this earth a story in the past. We be a pastors. Dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, for we for no say whether in life or in death we belong for God, now for saving we surrender with lives to Jesus Christ. God is sent his son for though we say naive is the only way by which we get for reason. May we seek ye when we get for finding. In fact, the text for reflection from the PCC next occasions, we will always be together. And I remember the other day, I find me remind me, I don't say it will be my landlord. And when this time we come out, I don't even know the person where they will talk, say, to to my landlord, because he give me some place, so they can build my house. Oh, that one looks like it. God and your strength for a time like this. As a Christian, we really double your Christian effort for joining the Christian then first. The rest, we really do for honor your wife and for increase your faith in God. And for double your trust in the things of God. And for encourage your beginning to make you grow up in the fear of God. Because no man has God. At the end of the day, whether we live or we die, we belong to the Lord. And when I don't put our soul. And if we don't say we belong to God, while we do say, make my mind so rest in peace, make God. We own we make it be your comfort and your strength in eternal peace. Amen.
desire in your hands. You have blessed us with all good things. The blessings that pour down upon the earth from heaven, they all come from you. You love us. You bring us into this life. You care for us. You provide for us. And when it is time, you call us to come and live by your side. Even as you have called your daughter, Mary, for whom we are gathered here today. We bring, we bring before you a token of appreciation that comes from our heart and thankfulness for what we have received from you. Asking that Father, Accept it just as we have brought it. And consecrate it for service in your kingdom. We bring the Fogum family to your throne of grace, especially for your son Henry and the children. There is a vacuum that has been created in their midst. The love, the bonds of a loved wife. Mother. May you continue to comfort them and strengthen them. May you continue to keep them in good health. May you continue, Lord, to encourage them, to give them that blessed assurance that life continues beyond this world. And that while they miss the presence of their daughter Mary, She's living happily with you, and that is the reason enough for them to rejoice. Protect all family members wherever they are. Encourage them to use their hands honestly, and you will bless the fruits of their labors. Protect them from all harm and danger. Holy Father, through the blood of your dear Son, have consecrated for us a new and living way to your throne of grace. We come to you through him unworthy as we are, and we only ask you to accept and use us and these uh, gifts to your glory. All that is in heaven and on earth is yours, and of yours we give to you. Glory be to you forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you all. Please take your seats. To praise you, to give thanks to you, to worship you in all places, for you are God, very great and beyond understanding, invisible and above all things. You are ever alive, you and your only Son and your Holy Spirit. Out of nothing you brought us to be. And when we were fallen, you raised us up. You have left nothing undone until you brought us unto heaven and gave us your coming kingdom. For all these things we give thanks to you and to the Holy Son and to the Holy Spirit. For all the benefits done to us, whether known or unknown, whether openly visible or hidden, we give thanks to you also that you have been some large angels and tens of thousands of angels. Shelby and Seraphim are there to attend to you and sing, cry aloud and shout, all through the triumphal song, and together with these blessed powers, O Master, lover of mankind, we also sing, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to you, O Lord Most High. Let us pray. Really holy and most holy are you, and you are only Son and the Holy Spirit. Holy and most holy are you in your great glory, who have so loved the world that you gave your only Son, so that all who believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life, who has done and accomplished all that was appointed for our sake. We therefore remember here with his cross, his grave, his resurrection on the third.
country, his ascension into heaven, is sitting at your right hand, and is coming again the second time in glory. For all that we praise you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, O Lord. And now we pray you to send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here set before you, that this bread may be to us the body of Christ, and this wine the blood of Christ, that all who partake of them may be cleansed and their sins forgiven, and receive the Holy Spirit and the kingdom of heaven, and pass from judgment to eternal life. Our Lord, come. Amen. Jesus Christ, on that night on which he was betrayed to bread, and when he had praised and given thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat all of you, for this is my body which is broken for your sake. Do this in memory of me. In the same way also after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is to be poured out for many for the forgiveness of their sins. Do this as often as you drink it in memory of them. For each time you eat this bread and you drink from this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. You are the bread to Christ, you proclaim. You are the bread to Christ, you invited to the marriage of our brothers. Come now with faith and repentant hearts to the temple which the Lord has prepared for you. Take and eat of his bread of life and drink of his cup of salvation with thanks to you.
My name is Mary. We love you. May God love you most. May your soul rest in peace. As we give our mommy last respect, let us now commend our sister, Yah for them, into the hands of God and our Maker and Redeemer. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, by your mighty power you gave us life, and in your great love you have given us new life in Jesus Christ. We commend Mary, yeah, for them, our sister, to your merciful keeping, and pray that in your infinite love and mercy, you will bring her with your whole church, living and departed in the Lord Jesus, to a joyful resurrection and the fulfillment of his eternal kingdom. Through the same Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who died and rose again to save us, and is now alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Glory forever and ever. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation. The life to enlighten the nations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the Let us now, in the hope of the joyful resurrection, bring our departed sister to her resting place. For there is no permanent home for us here on earth, but we are looking for the one in the life to come. Standing on the 
Thank you. 